evaporation is the tendency of oil, gas, and water to segregate in a reservoir during production due, due to their differing densities. As a secondary drive mechanism, gravity drainage occurs only in combination with one or more of the primary oil reservoir drive mechanism. Conditions conducive to gravity drainage include thick reservoir with high vertical permeabilities or thin reservoir with steep dips. Gravity drainage can cause released solution gas to migrate upward and oil to flow downward, conserving reservoir energy and increasing recovery to near that of a water drive. The rate of oil gravity drainage in the reservoir is usually low compared to fuel production rates. Over time, however, gravity drive can be extremely efficient. Hello there. After that brief introduction, I will now explain the gravity drive mechanism in more depth to have a better understanding of it. Alright now, how does the mechanism actually work? As you can observe in the picture, in points A, B and C, a well produces through gravity drive mechanism when oil drains downward through a reservoir under the influence of gravity. Now we know oil drains downward, but how well though? The ultimate recovery of oil from gravity drive mechanism is about 5-30% to 30 the original oil in place. The rate of oil gravity drainage in the reservoir is usually low compared to the field production rates. Over time, however, gravity drainage can be extremely efficient and recovery is higher than any other primary drive mechanism is possible. Here is an extra info on how gravity drainage or gravity segregation mechanic works. The oil, water and gas have natural tendencies to segregate in a reservoir during the production, this is due to the difference in the densities. Water will be located at the bottom of the reservoir, followed by oil and then superseded by gas. This gas then tends to migrate up deep while oil migrates down deep towards the producing well. And that ladies and gentlemen is how oil and gas move in a reservoir operating under the gravity drive mechanism. There are two conditions where gravity drainage is most conducive. First, it is in thick reservoir with high vertical permeability. Higher vertical permeability will help in the vertical fluid communication and continuity. Secondly, it is also effective in thin reservoir with a significant angle of depth of at least 10 to 15 degrees. Other factors that are taken into consideration for ultimate recovery are low oil viscosity, peak oil zone, and a large difference between oil and gas density. For low oil viscosity, it will enable the oil to flow more easily. Other than that, peak oil zone will give us more oil to be produced. Lastly, a very large difference between oil and gas density will further improve the gravity segregations. Although, the main disadvantage of gravity drainage is that it is a slow process. Therefore, we rarely take full advantage of gravity drainage due to economic oil production, which is much higher than the segregation rate. However, based on the graph, it shows that the recovery efficiency of gravity drainage could reach up to 50 to 70% of original oil in place with a decrease of reservoir pressure if given a long period of time. In short, gravity drainage is often used in addition to other drive mechanisms. Hmm, I wonder what are the characteristics of gravity drive? There are four main different characteristics which are reservoir pressure, gas oil ratio, secondary gas cap and water production. Oh, what will happen to the reservoir pressure in gravity drive? The reservoir pressure faces rapid pressure drop without the presence of gas cap. Oh, how about gas oil ratio? 
the gas or ratio for gravity drive is low due to the gravity segregation. Oh, what will be the secondary gas cap condition? The secondary gas cap is initially undersaturated as it occurs above bubble point pressure. Most of the reservoir contain water. So, what role does water production play in gravity drive? Good question. The water production is indicative of a water drive, either little or no water production. I have summarized the characteristics of gravity drive in the computer. You can refer it whenever you want. Yay! Now I completely understand about gravity drive. Thank you so much, sir. Hope you all guys understand about gravity drive and the explanation. Thank you. Bye-bye.